Now we'll go to Ireland for a minute, where I spent five years. I've already negotiated with Mark to be a tour guide. If he wants any help being a tour guide, he seems to have it all set up. He's going for three weeks. Anybody else is going to Ireland. I'm always willing to give tips of where to go. A wonderful country. For you guitar players, this is a partial capo. interesting things. This song is about, the name of this song is Stonecutter, and it's about a man that I know, I knew in Ireland, um, Stanley Diamond, who comes from a long line of stonecutters, and their primary work was uh, gravestones, but they did a lot of other things as well, but you could go into one of the local graveyards and see a whole history of diamonds on back through the generations. Stanley was also a very poetic literary soul, so he's quite a Wonderful, wonderful man in him, of himself. So I wove him primarily into this song. But he helped us out in a project we were doing over there as we were renovating old buildings from the 1850s. There was a house that uh, my friend Eric called the whitest of elephants. And behind that was even worse, these old, old ruins that were just uh, barely existing, but the walls were still there. And so we slowly brought those back to life, and we decided to create a courtyard between these back walls. So the walls are all covered with this thick plaster that was sort of the rage in the 1850s among the English landlords, who were the ones who owned these, these big houses. Uh, the Irish couldn't afford them. And so everything was covered with a you know, thick, thick layer. Said, Let's strip this off and see what's underneath. So we had these handheld jackhammers, and uh, it was exciting work. Uh, very long, uh, very dusty, and when we got done, we started to see the stone underneath. Well, Stanley came, and he sandblasted the entire area for us, and the stone was revealed. And we saw all these different kinds of stonework. So he told us the story. What would have happened is the, uh, the Masons at that time would have gotten practically nothing, if anything, from the English landlords in terms of pay, but they would have worked very long hours, and each Mason would stand at one place and work on his part of the wall. And so you could see, when it was all revealed, you could see here's one style, here's another style, here's another style, all around this, this wall. So this became, this ended up being woven into my, my song about Stanley and a, a touch of Irish history. So here we go. Stone cutter like his father before him Stone dust is on the back of his hand Stone's color running deep in his memory Stone solid to the heart of the land Stanley wears a tattered woolen jacket His hands are like the stones he carves upon Power chisel cutting into granite To write the names of those who've passed along Stone cutter like his father before him Stone dust is on the back of his hands Stone's color running deep in his memory Stone solid to the heart of the land A Stanley's always been a storyteller History and legends from of old he passed them to his daughters in the evenings Seeds of light and shadow for their souls And when the Irish got slaves' wages To build the gentry's spacious homes They covered over the skillful stonework With a layer Monochrome, a shell of plaster hid the mason's art, a shell of silence hid the Irish heart. Sandblasted generations later, the beautiful.
beauty of that stone shines out anew And Stanley's face carved by the seasons Diamond in the dust, sculpture in the rough Shows their spirit shining through Stone cutter like his father before him Stone dust is on the back of his hands Stone's color running deep in his memory Stone solid to the heart of the land Stone cutter like his father before him Stone dust is on the back of his hands Stone's color running deep in his memory Stone solid to the heart of the land Thank you.